Okay, first things first, that needs watering. Man, that still gets me every time, the fact I can do that. There we go. Oh, love it. Yo, good morning, guys. My name is, of course, Fraser. So today, we are looking at um, pretty much something really cool that happened. So I bought myself a new laptop, which is pretty damn cool. The reason why I got one is because I really did need one. Um, I, I needed one for a while because I needed to be doing mobile editing, something I've never really addressed. So we're gonna go have a look at that now, but we're gonna cook breakfast first. But yeah, let's go do that. Let's go, breakfast is finished. That is looking tasty. Yo guys, so today we are gonna be looking at my brand new laptop, right? So the reason why I decided to kind of show you guys this one is because I'm interested in tech. I know a lot of you guys are interested in tech and yeah, I pretty much just love this laptop. Let's just go first of all through with the design of this thing, because this thing looks gorgeous. All right guys, so today we're having a quick look at the Surface Book. The reason why I actually have this computer is because basically I've got a new job um, where I'm basically like running um, like a video production side of a company. So I'm doing a lot of their video production uh, editing wise and things like that. So I guess, yeah, I'm not, well, I'm kind of running it, but yeah, anyway, that's a long story. Um, it's kind of relevant for today anyway. But yeah, so that job pretty much requires me to have a powerhouse laptop in at all times. So I need to basically be able to make videos on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna just basically show you this laptop, um, what you can do and the specs and so on. And let's just go from it. Man, this thing is so beautiful. But anyway, let's just open up. I will show you guys the reason why. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this coming from a MacBook, you can't open it at one hand. You just can't, unless you do that. <laughs> Yo, so basically, on this machine here. The reason why I love this, okay, so let's just go through it. Three reasons straight away I love it. One, it's got one of the best trackpads I've ever seen, like ever on a computer. Two, it's touchscreen, right? Completely touchscreen, I can just kind of do whatever. I can open my Steam and stuff if I wanted. But yeah, so that's all good. Thirdly, the third reason why this is an absolutely insane computer Apart from the power and the specs and everything, I mean, this has got an i7 up there and a dedicated graphics card down there and a massive, massive battery in here and a not so big battery up here. The reason why this is super cool though, this is super important, trust me, let me show you something. So if I decide to press this button here, all right, the whole thing detaches, which you can't really see because I haven't got a tripod. Well, I do have a tripod, but the tripod mount's broken on my camera, which is so annoying. But anyway, so look, you can basically take it, and now I've got a tablet, right? That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Surface tablet as well as a laptop. That's insane. Absolutely insane. Anyway, guys, what am I doing with my time at the moment? So I haven't spoken to you all in a long time. Um, I haven't been on this channel in a while. Now, um, another question you might be asking is, yeah, I've got my Mac, Mac Mini there, which I did a video I don't think I ever did a video talking about that, but yeah, I, put it that, I picked that up earlier this year. The reason for that is because I needed another desktop machine for uh, video production and so on, things like that, um, and also for music production. So that has all my music stuff on it, so I produce music on that, um, which is cool. So I've got my main PC, which is obviously just here. I've got my Mac Mini now. I've got a Chromebook, which I think I've mentioned before, and I've got the Surface Book. Overall review though of the Surface Book, Microsoft, if you're watching, you've done a very, very good job. You've almost made the perfect laptop. In my opinion, the only thing that would have made this laptop even better is um, the option to have different colors. Like, I don't like that personally. I do like the fact it's made of magnesium, which is pretty cool. The second thing is the fact that the hinge doesn't open with one hand, which really bugs me. And the third thing, let me show you this quickly. Okay, so the third thing, right? So I'm, I've 
My previous like professional laptop, I guess, was the MacBook Air. It's not really a professional laptop, but yeah. On the MacBook Air, obviously you have like a play pause button, which is great. You have your brightness for the keyboard, which is which is cool. Uh, and then you have, you know, like your volume stuff, which is cool. But things like print screen, home, end, page up, page down, insert. I'm never gonna use any of those. I'd have loved to seen them placed, replaced with like a, like a last track, next track, whatever. You know, that would have been cool. Come on, Microsoft. That would have been cool to see in the next iteration. Also, one other thing is obviously these bases have different graphics cards depending on which model you go for. With my one in the UK, I got the best graphics card you can get, which is the 940M. But in America, they've released one of the 960M, which isn't coming out into the, into the UK until like February or March next year, which I just needed this now, so I don't really have time to wait. But if they had the option in the future to buy these separately, so like I could buy the 960M, I would probably sell this next year at some point and buy the 960M. But yeah, apart from that, great, great, great laptop. Well done, guys. Oh yeah, one more thing about the Surface that is really, really, really cool. The, um, the Surface Pen that it comes with, is amazing for doing anything to do with Photoshop. So for example, I do a lot of like photo editing on Photoshop that requires like very precise um, adjustments. So let's say if I'm doing um, like, if, if I'm working on like, in the skin of a photo, I'd want to use like um, maybe the spot removal tool, but on a very, very precise area. And it makes it so natural to do it with the surface pen. The surface pen just, absolutely is it's so perfect for that sort of thing it's okay for editing video i don't love it for editing video and a lot of people do for some reason like they're lot of people when i was reading reviews were like oh yeah it's really good for editing video i've tried using it it's okay you can scrub the timeline and stuff which is cool but apart from that i don't really like it for that but no for photoshop and for editing like that it's great um but yeah it does require some getting used to but it's really cool note taking device as well um overall though the surface pen though Solid little thing, solid little attachment. It's really changed my mind how computers should work. I feel like computers should just all be touchscreen now. I expect a PC to be touchscreen. And with a resolution of like 3000 by 2000 on the um, Surface Pro, it just makes it such a pleasure to use. Guys, yesterday, last night was a sad night. I finally completed Modern Warfare Remastered. There we go, win the war, got the achievement. And not just that, we got the deep and hard achievement. There we go absolute ballerness. That means we completed it obviously on hardened difficulty. I'm gonna go through a veteran run at some point of that game, but I mean, that game means a lot to me. I mean, Modern Warfare Master means a lot to me. Um, but yeah, absolutely stoked that I played through that game. All right, just going out now, literally just going out to go and um, see a friend, uh, and then I'm coming back, making videos, and then I've got to go to work. And then from work, I've got to go to, uh, I've got to come back here and edit up some videos. So we're gonna go out. The ultimate, ultimate thing to take every time I go in the car is this. The reason why is because I've got a Kenwood speaker system in my Mini, but it's a really old one. So it has like um, the USB support for these uh, really super old iPods. Now um, that actually means it sounds amazing when you put one of these in. I actually prefer this off of Bluetooth. Uh, but not off of Bluetooth, I prefer this rather than Bluetooth. I actually use this iPod a lot more than Bluetooth. But anyway guys, let's just go in the car, let's go for a drive. I'll next see you when I'm making a video later on today. Let's go. And I am back from my little day out. Well, not really day out, I was actually here. But yeah, I'm back from um, seeing my mate. So we're gonna go straight in, I'm gonna call some FIFA today actually. I've been wanting to do some FIFA for a while now. I just never get around to doing it, so we're gonna do some FIFA now, do some FIFA Ultimate Team live. Finally get around to doing it, so yeah, let's go do it now. I'm gonna record um, for probably about 45 minutes and then I've got to go to work. If I go to work now, I'm probably gonna do something else for a client, I think, after that. I'm gonna edit a video tonight and I'm gonna edit this, so yeah, it's gonna be a long day. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out and goodbye.